since Autograph 2025.1, an OpenFX plugin, allows Autograph projects to be loaded into host software, such as DaVinci Resolve. The plugin lets you add an effect, a transition, or a generator to a clip by setting parameters in the control panel. As an example, let's take a new movie and place it on the timeline. In the effects panel on the left, there are three categories, filter, generator, or transition. Let's take a look at the filter category, which contains an autograph live link item. This category contains an autograph live link effect that we drag onto the clip. When we select this clip and go to the effect parameters, two buttons appear. Open project and browse library. The library contains example templates that can be applied directly to a clip in Resolve. The renderer is then launched in the background. The project is loaded by autograph and the image from Resolve is sent to this project to insert it into the screen. Parameters exposed by the project appear in the effect panel, such as the camera's elevation or orbit around the scene. Loading this project in parallel with Autograph gives a better understanding of the way it was created. The same parameters are displayed in a control panel attached to the main composition. The entire scene is created in 3D, computed on the fly by Autograph, and the image sent by Resolve is used as a texture on the giant screen in the background. An image type parameter created in the control panel will receive this image sent by Resolve and use it as a texture. This is why the modifier source option is used. This parameter, which retrieves the image sent by Resolve, will be used as a texture on the 3D surface. The parameters that control camera position, elevation and distance from the scene will be available in Resolve once this project is in use. In addition to using the gallery, you can directly load an autograph project. Let's go to the generator section and add a new autograph live link clip to the timeline. At the same time, we load this project in autograph, recreating the iconic background of Warner Brothers. The animation displays the words, that's autograph. This animated sequence is created entirely using procedural components, such as the instancer generator, which allows you to replicate shapes infinitely, creating variations for each instance. Circular shapes can be deformed for each new instance. Before connecting the Resolve Timeline clip directly to the autograph project, let's reset the skew value to zero. Since we're going to load the same project through Resolve's control panel, we need to know where it's located. Click the button at the top of the interface to open the folder containing the current project. After copying the path to this folder, click on Open Project and load the project in this folder. The Autograph Render Engine is launched in background and images are rendered directly on the Resolve timeline. Back in Autograph, Navigate through the layers to find the text layer and edit its source. After replacing the text with Hello Resolve, we can play the animation that will be recomputed. Go to the File menu and select Save Project to overwrite the original one. Back in Resolve, the project has now been automatically updated. Now, let's expose a dynamic parameter in the control panel so that we can change the text inside Resolve. Return to Autograph and select the composition that has been defined as the main composition. We add a new control panel to this composition, in which we add parameters. Keeping this composition selected, we navigate in the timeline to the text layer, and more specifically to the source text parameter, which we drag into the control panel. To expose it. This control panel can already be used in Autograph by changing the text using this controller. We can even set the current text as the default. Returning to Resolve, we can see that the project has been graphically updated, but the control panel doesn't show the new parameter we've exposed. To do this, we need to click on the Open Project button again and reload the same project in order to update the control panel available in Resolve. We can now change the text and update it 
by pressing the Enter key. This plugin can also be used in Fusion, which doesn't require you to press the Enter key. An unlimited number of controllers can be added in the same way. Let's select the layer creating the orange background and add a hue shift effect to it. The hue shift angle parameter is used to change the hue of the background in order to define a new color. Right click on the angle parameter and choose reveal in timeline to visualize it without having to search for it. Select the main composition to display its control panel and drag this new parameter to expose it. Select this parameter and press Enter to rename it Color Shift. Return to the File menu and save the project again. Once again, to update the control panel, we need to click on Open Project and reload it. The Color Shift parameter lets you change the background color. However, manipulating this controller sets extremely large values to this parameter. This is because no limit value has been defined for this parameter in Autograph. By clicking on the cogwheel right next to the parameter, you can see that the minimum and maximum range from minus infinity to infinity. Setting a minimum and maximum between minus 180 and 180 degrees limits the values of this parameter, making the controller less sensitive in Resolve. Once again, we go to the file menu to save the project before reloading it in Resolve to update the control panel. The slider is now less sensitive and can be adjusted between minus 180 and 180. Working with Autograph for graphics and Resolve for editing let you create templates that best suit your needs. The Autograph Live Link plugin, available with Autograph 2025.1 brings the full graphic power of Autograph to your OpenFX compatible editing software.